Hi, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. The weather's not great outside today, so I thought I'd just do a few fixes and whatever. Now, I don't know whether you saw the video last week when I was up a hill, but um, I wasn't particularly pleased with the performance of the handheld radio. So um, I thought I'd have a look at that and see if there was any way that I could improve on the performance of it. And I think I've done exactly that, to be honest. So I'd just like to share with you what I've done. Um, it's very, very simple, so you could do it yourself, and you never know, it might work for you as well. So, let's jump in there and have a look at what I've done. So, as you probably know, most aerials need a counterpoise. Um, the other half of the antenna, that's the, uh, the simple way to put it. So, most handhelds, like this one here, which is the one I, I go off up hills with, come with some kind of rubber duck antenna which typically isn't very effective not very efficient because it's only half of an antenna there's no other half the other half of the dipole effectively now I know there's exceptions to all rules and I won't go into that but let's just say for now you can improve the quality of your antenna if you had the other half to transmit and receive against so the way that we make it more efficient is to install the other half of the antenna so imagine you've got effectively two antennas the top part and the bottom part the way that we do that is we just have a bit of wire dangling down of, of around about 19 inches long some people call it a tiger tail or a, a rat tail but basically it's just a counterpoise so what i'm going to show you now is very very simply how to make one we start off with a bit of wire okay doesn't have to be anything special doesn't have to be a specific thickness or or anything like that and it needs to be around about 19 inches long first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put a connector on the end of it just to put around the base of the antenna so this one here um, actually ships with uh, an SMA connector so if I just take this off and show you this there we go now, for my purposes, I've converted the SMA to the BNC, which is what the, uh, the antenna has got. So I've got this little adapter, which is that there. So we won't worry about that for the moment. And there's the, uh, the antenna that I use, or one of the antennas that I use in actual fact, and it's got a BNC connector on it. So literally, all we're going to do is we're going to put this bit of wire onto there okay we want it to be touching the outside part of the antenna now the easy way to do that is to use something like this okay so I'm just going to put that over there it fits very nicely and then I'm going to solder the wire onto there now for these purposes I've actually salvaged a connector that I was using previously that already had a bit of wire soldered onto it which is that one there and all I've done is I've just twisted that new bit of wire onto the bare copper of the previous wire and now I'm going to solder it just using these what they call helping hands I think they call them just to help me uh, hold the cable tin up my soldering iron Put the soldering iron onto the copper just to get it up to temperature and then put on a decent amount of solder which has got flux or some kind of flux type chemical in it. So let's just turn it over and let's have a look at the other side. Okay, so there's plenty of solder on there now and now I'm just heating it up just to make sure that the solder floats all the way around the connection and there we go that's nice and now let's find a bit of heat shrink so there's the heat shrink going on that's nice and then let's find my trusty lighter Heat that up 
Now I think this particular heat shrink that I'm using has got glue inside it which when it melts it forms a nice seal and it literally sticks onto the connector. As you can probably see there the glue starting to come out which when it hardens it makes a really really nice connection on there. Now while it's still a bit molten I'm just going to bend it so that typically when it's on my handheld it will always have a, a bend so it will actually sit on the handheld facing down so that goes on there and then my adapter goes on there okay that's that and then the aerial just goes simply back on and as you can see quite a neat install I think um, we just need to measure the cable now to 19 inches and that's it job done right it's stopped raining long enough now just to do a little bit of a test so I'm going to try the radio to see if I can access the repeater about 12 miles up the road which is GB3 DC so let's start off first of all just by putting the, uh, the rubber duck on as you see we've got some noise so let's just try it. Mic zero, x-ray, mic x-ray portable, checking for access. Okay, nothing. Let's just try now with the tiger tail. Mic zero, x-ray, mic x-ray, portable, checking for access. Three, three bars that was. Let's just try it one more time. Mic zero, x-ray, mic x-ray, portable, checking GB3 DC for access. There you go. So proof that adding this 19 inch bit of wire as a tiger tail counterpoise to my handheld makes the difference between me getting into the local repeater and not getting in. There you go. If you've enjoyed the video, as I always say, please feel free, like, subscribe, ting the little bell so that you get notified. But anyway, from me, thanks very much for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye bye for now.